Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's Friday, September 14th, and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. First up with the national numbers, the National Association of Realtors says pending home sales increased 2.4% in July. Mortgage applications increased last week by 11.1%. In Trulia's recent buy versus rent report, it's now cheaper to purchase a home rather than rent due to increasing rents and low interest rates in many of our country's biggest cities. Jobless claims increased 15,000 to 382,000 last week, 9,000 of which is attributed to Hurricane Isaac. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke announced quantitative easing three on Thursday. Bernanke announced an open commitment to purchase $40 billion of mortgage-backed securities every month. In addition, he says long-term rates are going to stay low all the way through 2015. By keeping interest rates low, Bernanke hopes to spur employment and also gets people into other investment vehicles with a higher yield, including stocks. CoreLogic reported increasing home prices are bringing more and more underwater borrowers out of debt. The number of underwater homeowners is now at 22.3%, down from 23.7% in the first quarter. An estimated 10.8 million Americans own more on their house uh, than it's worth, but price increases is going to help that if it keeps going up. Lawmakers introduced the Responsible Homeowner Refinancing Act. This new bill was introduced by the Senate that will bring additional changes to the HAMP program. The new bill intends to increase competition with lenders, create more opportunities for refinancing, and cut back on appraisal costs and home loan fees, especially for those underwater. With elections around the corner, this one doesn't look like it's probably going to pass. Moody's announced the U.S. will lose its AAA credit rating unless Congress comes up with a plan to reduce the debt. Should the Congress negotiate an effective plan, then the AAA rating will be reapproved, and the economic outlook will go from negative to stable. Standard & Poor's has already lowered the U.S. credit rating, but Moody's and Fitch decided to hold off for a little longer until they see what happens in Congress. <coughs> Nothing. Edward DeMarco with FHFA announced he's working on a new plan to bring changes to the GSEs. The goal of the plan is to help establish a better platform for mortgage securitization in preparation for when the GSEs play a smaller role in the market. The Treasury Department submitted three ideas back in 2011 and regulators didn't like any of them. Republican John Campbell introduced a new federal bill Thursday that would prevent government-backed mortgages in areas where eminent domain was used to seize underwater loans. The bill would prohibit the GSEs from financing in counties or cities for up to 10 years. The government has financed roughly 95% of all loans since 2007, uh, so that would be a big deal if this goes through. The bill is immediately being backed by the Mortgage Bankers Association, and I'm sure we're going to be hearing more about this one. That's it for the news this week, but there are a ton more headlines on our blog at the Norris group.com slash blog. Up on the radio show this week, we've got Gary Thomas. He is the vice president of the National Association of Realtors, and he's going to be speaking with us in preparation for I Survived Real Estate 2012. Upcoming events include Invest Club for Women in LA and Orange County on the 18th and 19th. September 28th, we'll be at the Real Wealth Game Changers Expo in Orange County. Uh, we're going to be at the Apartment Owners Association on October 17th, and on October 19th, as you probably already know, I Survived Real Estate is coming to town. Check out I Survived Real estate.com to find out more about our fantastic panel and the charities that are uh, going to receive all the donations from the event. For more information on all five programs for our hard money loans, check out the Norris group.com. If you're interested in earning 9%, check out TNGTrustDeeds.com. Have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week.